So God created a man and a woman. In his creation, it was for that man, for that woman, to have free will. Because God didn't want to create robots. He didn't want somebody who would worship him constantly, but because they were programmed that way. What God wanted was to create a man and give him free will so that man could really worship God out of his own free will, not be programmed like a computer, like a robot to constantly worship God. That would mean nothing to God. So you and I have free will. Now we can reject God or we can serve God. That is our decision. But we need to remember that there is consequences to rejecting God. Now you may be thinking, well, He gave us free will, so we have the right to reject Him. Well, you're right. But God created us for His own purpose, for His own pleasure. After all, He's the Creator. So who are we to argue with the Creator? So, but why wouldn't we want to worship God? He created us, gave us life, He gave us a perfect world that man later on decided to destroy by disobeying, bringing in sin, thus cursing the earth. But the awesome thing, and this is crazy, is that God had a redemption plan for, for, for men, for us. Because he knew that his creation, given free will, was eventually going to mess up. So, what does God do? God creates a redemption, redemption plan so that when we do fall as humanity, he volunteers to come in as a human to live among us and to die as a sacrifice. He is the ultimate sacrifice. Now we can get into uh, sacrificial lambs and stuff like that that happened during the Old Testament, but that's kind of too long, so I'm going to keep this short. But God came in, in the flesh, and He was the ultimate sacrifice so that we could be redeemed, so we could go back to the original creation. Re redemption means as if it never happened. So what does that mean for you? What does that mean for me? As we were created to have free will, once again, we are faced with the reality of having to choose that plan of God, that plan of salvation, that plan of redemption. Now God came in humanly form and flesh and said, I will fix this. All you got to do is accept it. You got to do nothing else but accept my plan of salvation. So what are you going to do? I know what I'm going to do. I will accept his plan of salvation because it's freely giving. You don't have to do anything. The only thing you have to do is put your hand out and receive it. That's it. Why wouldn't you take his plan of salvation? So like I said, one more time we are faced with a decision out of our own free will to serve God or to reject him. That's your decision. <laughs>